Hello and welcome to my BA slash book con recap slash haul mini series. I was at Book Expo America 2016 for the past several days and it's been absolutely amazing but I did not film anything. So in this mini series I will walk you through day by day about my experience and what books I got on that day or in some cases some of my favorite books that I got that day because there's a lot of books. So let's get started. Welcome to day one of Book Expo America 2016. I signed up for the bloggers conference because I thought that with the other two days I'll be able to explore the expo hall a little bit more so on the first day I wanted to do the bloggers conference so I can connect with more bloggers, people like me who talk about books and I did and it was absolutely amazing. The day started pretty early for me because I don't know if it was from excitement or the fact that it wasn't my own bed, but I woke up an hour earlier than my alarm, which was kind of weird, but that's what happened. Now registration didn't open until 8 o'clock, but I was actually there at 7.30ish and I did want to go early just because I thought that the lines would be insane and I was wrong because there were no lines at that point. But I was able to grab my badge and head downstairs to where the bloggers conference was going to be. And the blogger conference itself started with a breakfast at 8 o'clock and like I said I was a bit early. So I was the first one to arrive there. Other than some staff it was basically a ghost town. But it was still very exciting and you could almost feel like a calm before the storm kind of excitement in the atmosphere even though there were barely any people at this point. In any case, soon after, two more people showed up that I came to know as Rachel and Alex and I'll leave the links down below because I ended up hanging out with them for the rest of the day, actually, which was, you know, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like building friendships, these things where, hey, you like books? I like books. Let's be friends, you know. Uh, so that was pretty awesome. And uh, we started talking and eventually we got in, we got breakfast. There was a keynote speaker by the name of Erin Lochner and there were samples out of her book Chasing Slow, Courage to Journey Off the Beaten Path. And uh, her speech was really inspiring and interesting. It was basically her journey through blogging for the past 10 years, the highs, the lows the expectations and the reality and it was really informative and inspiring. In any case, it was certainly very interesting to hear about her journey through the blogging world and how she came to where she is today. One thing I forgot to mention, my badge, which is pretty awesome. I registered as a blogger since I have a YouTube channel where I talk about books and um, yeah, this is my badge. So. I should probably put that on and now I'm legitimate. Following the keynote there were two morning sessions where you could pick of two panels to go to and the first session I went to making the right connections publishers and bloggers which was really interesting. On the panel were two publishers and two bloggers as well as it was moderated by another blogger and they were talking about how bloggers can connect to publishers what to expect, how to be professional about it and basically it was how to create a connection with the publicist, how to keep that connection and how to uh, participate in blog tours and how to get arcs and all that fun and it, stuff and it was really really informative and I really enjoyed it actually. And then for the second morning session I went to the panel called United YouTubers, Bloggers and Instagrammers and that one was also pretty awesome. It was basically Team Booktornet. So in the panel were Jesse from Jesse the Reader, Emily from Blue Eyed Biblio, Tiffany from About to Read and Ursula from Ursula Uriarte, which is her Instagram name, well, her actual name and her Instagram name. Yeah, it was really interesting because two of these people were basically strictly YouTubers and then Ursula is strictly an Instagrammer and then the other girl was kind of like a blogger slash YouTuber um, slash Instagrammer, so she was a little bit of everything and um, the moderator was asking them questions about 
how they feel about their own platform and about the other platforms and what is the best way to connect to other readers talking about books and it was really interesting and insightful and I really enjoyed it. Following that was the bloggers networking lunch which was also pretty cool and uh, we just talked <laughs> about about books and publishing and everything in between for that hour and then we moved on to the afternoon sessions which was basically it was a new segment round table talks where there were 16 tables uh, round tables quite literally actually and uh, each table had its own topic and there was a leader for a liter or two for each table and it was in three half hour sessions and you could pick which table to go to for each session. Now for the first session I went to the monetizing one because I was just curious. I mean I'm a beginner blogger even though I've been making YouTube videos. I was off internet for over a year, a year and a half really. So I'm basically a baby in the blogging the blog sphere so I was curious and there were two leaders in the monetizing table and one of them basically um, monetizes by creating products um, virtual documents and organizers and all that stuff and um, the other one is um, mostly uses AdSense so it was interesting to hear both their perspectives about what works what doesn't then for the second one, I decided to go to the booktube workshop, which I mean, I'm already a booktuber, but I still wanted to hear what Sasha had to say, Sasha from a Book Utopia, and um, also as a bonus, <laughs> there was Natasha from Tashopolis, um, who was just there supporting Tasha, like moral support, which was pretty awesome of her, and um, we this one was more of a discussion between everyone in the table because whenever someone would ask a question it was more like literally I mean yes they talked about their perspective but also they asked us questions and we each had like we could each share an opinion and it was more of a literal, a literal round table discussion which was really awesome. For the third session I decided to go to the design and coding table where two girls had their laptops and they were pulling up um, it was more of a one-on-one -on -one kind of discussion where they were pulling up the website of the person who was there and, and they were talking them through different ideas and suggestions about improving the blogs and to be honest I didn't get quite as much of this as I was expecting to um it is it's kind of awkward but I didn't really know what questions to ask so I ended up leaving early which turned out to be a good thing because just as I was leaving the room Jesse was peeking in to see how Sasha and Tasha were doing and then I got to talk to him for a little bit which was pretty cool and then after that it was time for the afternoon networking session which was wine and beer and popcorn and talking about books. <laughs> That was also pretty amazing. When they opened the doors, we immediately saw that some publishers had set up tables, which was really cool because I didn't expect to get any books on the first day since I was at a bloggers conference all day, but they came to us. So that was pretty cool. So at one of the tables, Sonderbahn had a few different things, as well as an Erin Lerchner signing the samplers from earlier so I got my sign and I got to talk to her for a little while so that was pretty awesome and then the other thing I grabbed from that table was Unstuffed Decluttering Your Home, Mind and Soul by Ruth Sokup and actually she's a blogger that I am subscribed to and I really enjoy her work so when I saw this book I was like I have to have it because it's awesome Next up was Penguin Random House where they had a little swimming, like inflatable swimming pool set up with duckies just swimming in it and you had to pick a duck and whatever color was on the bottom of it you got a corresponding book and the book that I got was Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland which looks really cool it has blue fishies and I like blue 
which is completely off the point. But that was pretty cool. And then right next to me was this lady who I was in the booktube panel next to. Oh, well, she picked a book that was different than mine. And the reaction that I made was kind of like, oh my god. And uh, she was like, do you want it? And I'm like, what? Really? Because <laughs> she's like, yeah, I have to travel. Really? Do you want it? And I'm like, yeah, sure. You know, free books. Who can say no to free books? But yeah, so she gave me this one, which is The Spontaneous by Aaron Starmer. And it has a poncho on the back, which is, I think, why my reaction was like so awesome excited. You know, but I ended up getting two books out of that so that was pretty cool and then on the next table was Jennifer Niven signing holding up the universe so I got that I got to talk to her for a little bit and that was also super awesome and uh, a lot of people for the next few days were looking for this book so I'm super happy I got it on the first day and looking forward to reading it. And then First in Line was also there and you could pick one book out of three. And one of the books I kind of said no to right away because it just didn't seem like something I would read. The other book was Gemina, the, the sequel to Illuminate, which I haven't read yet. So I was like, mm, it's a sequel to a book I haven't read. And then the third one was a new author. Um, Kathleen Glasgow, Girl in Pieces. So I decided to go for this one. And then the third day at BEA, everyone was going crazy over wanting Gemina. So that kind of made me think about that decision on the first day. But I'm not sorry. And you'll find out why on when I tell you about BookCon. So yeah, I'm super excited about all the books that I got. So these are the books that I got from the bloggers conference and then after this I decided that we still had a little bit of time and the expo hall was still open so I wanted to go and see kind of get a little sneak peek of what to expect for the next two days so I decided to go up to the expo hall so at the expo hall I was able to grab several more books plus some totes and posters which I don't even remember what it, this is all, to be honest. It's just so much information all happening at the same time and you don't know where to look and it's it's insane but also super mega amazing. Oh yeah, I remember now. This was a poster that someone had just randomly left and it was open. It, they had just randomly left it on the table and I'm like, this is a really cool looking poster so I got it. Another poster I got and that was actually still downstairs at the networking event was Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Riggs. Oh yeah, I wasn't able to get the sampler at any point throughout BA BookCon. But I got the poster and it's beautiful and on the back it has the chapters, like all the names of the chapters for the book. So I'm pretty excited. Granted, I still haven't read, and I feel very bad about it, I still haven't read Miss Peregrine's, but it is definitely on my TBR and I'm looking forward to reading it and this cover is absolutely amazing looking. Alright, now these are in no particular order because I honestly... I have no idea what order they're in, but one of my favorite things that I got on that first day was the Ultimate Travel coloring book that I got at the Lonely Planet booth. And it's an actual legitimate full-size coloring book and it's awesome because I love the coloring books that, that, that are everywhere now, adult coloring books. But it's pretty cool, I love to travel, I love coloring and this is like a really cool book and I'm super excited. Another thing I got from the Lonely Planet booth was a book in Chicago, which I ended up not using, and I mean, I live here, so I should theoretically know stuff, but I decided to grab it, because, well, I like to travel, and even though I live here, it's too complicated to explain, but I was excited for it, so I grabbed it. Another thing is, Nicholas Sparks was there signing his book, See Me, which um, I wasn't able to grab a hardcover copy, however, I did grab the audiobook, so that's still a win. And I couldn't wait for the signing because the line was huge and I had to like go back downstairs, but I still grabbed this and I'm happy because now I can read it. 
I mean, listen to it. Alright, more books. The Secrets of Wiscombe Chase by Christian Merrill, which is a romance historical novel by Harlequin. <laughs> this one was a good one. I'm your biggest fan. Awkward Encounters and Assorted Misadventures in Celebrity Journalism by Kate Coyne, which I'm super excited to read. I also grabbed a sampler of Where Girl, Everyone Has an Animal Inside, a novel by C.D. Bow. I don't really know what it's about. I'm guessing it's about a Where Girl, but just, that's just like completely random suggestion, really. Um, but I'm excited to read it even though it's a sampler so it wouldn't be much of a reading but maybe I'll find out if I like it enough to buy it later on when it comes out so that's cool. Now I was walking past the booth and the background was really awesome like high fantasy awesome and I was like this is such a cool background and the guy just standing there he was like oh yeah this is from this book and whatever and I'm like oh cool can I keep a copy and he's like yeah do you want it signed and I'm like sure and it was the author, so he signed it for me, and that's Sunborn Rising Beneath the Fall by Aaron Safronov, which was a pretty cool, fun experience for me. So I got it, and it's like a full-size actual out book, so that is pretty cool. Alright, next on the list is All In, Love, Power, Risk, She Holds the Cards by Simona Arnstead. It's a really cool cover, actually. If you turn it this way, it looks like she's wearing a dress, but she's uh, diving into something. Actually, I have no idea what it's about. You're ready. Take the leap. Go all in. Hmm. Oh, it's, um, right. This is actually, it's the first time it's a Swedish, um, it's a Swedish novel, and it's the first time it's been translated into English. So I was like, yeah, I want a copy, <laughs> and I'm excited to read it, even though apparently I have no idea what it's about, but I'm always excited to read books, and um, I mean, if I know what all the books are about, how will I ever find new stuff, you know, so yay. The next one is called True Vine, Two Brothers, A Kidnapping, and A Mother's Quest, A True Story of the Jim Crow South by Beth Macy, and it's another arc, and it's not actually it's not is it yes it is an arc it's just such a good looking arc that i didn't even realize i mean i mean forgot that it was an arc anyway besides the point the point is that I, it's another book that i have no idea what it's about but i'm excited to read it the true story of two african-american brothers who were kidnapped and displayed as circus freaks for more than 13 years and of their mother who risked her life to free them that sounds intriguing, and I'm looking forward to reading it. Next up, Hollow Planet by Andrew Tolan, which um, sounds a, like a really cool book, and the cover is really pretty, and the second book is coming out soon, and this is the first book, and I'm looking forward to reading it also. And last but not least, Marconics, The Human Upgrade, Volume 1, The Clarion Call, by Alison David Bird and Lisa Wilson. Uh, I don't really know how to explain this book, so I'm gonna read you what it says in the back. Marconics, the human upgrade, is the story of a new multi-dimensional energy system that arrived on the planet at the end of 2012, marking the final phase of an operation by galactic founders to conclude the evolution of the human experience. Now that's another one where I was talking to the authors at the booth and they were, um, were talking about the book and what it's about and it sounded really interesting so I got it and it signed and I'm looking forward to reading it. Basically, I'm looking forward to reading all the books. I know that sounds very... I don't know what's the word, but I really am. I really am curious about all the books that I've gotten and I really am looking forward to reading all of them. Now, I don't know how long that's going to take me because I did get oh, pretty sure that it's over 100 books of total, I mean, for the four days, but I'm looking forward to reading all of them, so there's that. And this is it. Um, I just counted them. There's 18 books total, not counting the samplers because they're not full books. And, and right, where was I? Okay, so Expo. After the Expo hall, this lovely hall, I went back downstairs to the networking event and I had some popcorn and a coke and I talked some more to my friends, to my new friends. And then um, 
we decided to go to the booktube meetup at the Bean, which was pretty awesome. There were a ton of booktubers there. It was really cool and we took a huge picture, which I'm sure you can find absolutely everywhere online. And then after that, a bunch of us from that group, a smaller group, we went to dinner and then I got back to my hotel room at like 10.30. The first day at Book Expo was amazing. I really enjoyed myself. I got to meet new people and I'm really excited I got to do the bloggers conference because that is where I met a lot of the people that I ended up hang hanging out with later on. So it was, it was awesome. And that's a wrap on day one. I will be filming and posting day two as well as all the books that I got on day two, which was my most successful book hauling day, to be honest. Um, but I will tell you more about that in the next video. See you then. Bye.